So tonight we've turned up to the old Victorian arcade. This is our first time ever investigating this place. It's our second kind of investigation in an underground section, isn't it? Yeah. What we're gonna do right now is we are going to give you guys a little tour, walk around and um, yeah, have a stroll, and then we're gonna get into the paranormal investigation side. Now we don't really know too much history, but we didn't really want to know it, did we? Well there is From one thing there's one thing. Told. Yeah. And should we say it or? That we'll say when we get to it. All right, then say. So. Um, like one incident that happened many, yeah. many years ago. So bearing in mind as well, the owner of this place doesn't like to even tell you anything that's happened um, with other groups because he doesn't want it to reflect on you as a, an investigating team. So you come in here completely blind yeah. with no knowledge of anyone else's uh, experiences unless you talk to them by yourself. And um, I think it's more fun that way, so it's quite good. So he's, he has kind of kitted it out with a few objects. I mean, he's got, he's got a lovely little doll. Well, you're not kitted it out, Stay. They've always been there. <laughs> that good. doll's creepy. We've got a nice doll sitting on a toilet chair, I think. Very atmospheric. So obviously this would have been one of the shops back in the day. Because he did say that there was, um, I mean there is a sign just here, and it's, uh, is it Butterfield and Got? And that's a Butterfield. Um, Ironmongers. Ironmongers and tool, and tool specialists. Specialist. It's an old sign, really good. Because there's a lot of um, horse, yeah, a lot accessories. Of, a lot like, of horse accessories, like wheels for um, carriages. I mean, you got a nice old bike there. That's just just in front. How old do you think? No, uh, probably. I don't. I wouldn't like to say. I'm not. A, I'm not an expert on the matter, but it's an old bike. Here's another one of the shops. Looks like an old kitchen. It's got. It has got like a little basin here. And uh, it's still wet, so. It says on the floor, Jace, caution. Wet no, floor. but inside the sink's still wet. But yeah, you've got all these lovely little doors, shop fronts, they've got numbers on them. This is free, that's for where Stephen is now. And you've got this wonderful. I do like, like that. Type gate. Yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. really good. It's really big, and I believe that it was all under the shop floors as well. Yeah. And I do believe people come down here, but it's used later on, like we've got now. It's more so used as storage, whereas in our case at the moment, it's used as a... Ghost. A ghost hunt. Um, so yeah, it's quite fun. Here's but this, this really... I think this is like one of the main horse. Yeah. Um, one of the steel workshops. So, we've got all these, these are all used to go on horses, obviously. But yeah, I'd say that this was the end of the shop front side of things. Yeah. Because we're going to an area now where it looked like people live there. Well, didn't he say that some of it was, um, it was actually more shops? Yeah, but it looks like it was turned into, I mean, we are, we've got a saddle. We're just into horses down here. Okay. That's what we're into. So now we're coming into this section. Now this is where some of the history he did actually tell us about. Uh, and it is very dark and quite, quite isolated, it feels, when you come into this bit. But this shop here, one with the green wall right in front of us, used to be a brothel back in the day. And one of the workers, who used to obviously do a good day's hard work, had a five year old child. We don't know if he was a male or a female. 
the child actually come down the stairs and we was told that the mother actually murdered the child, you know, because he just kept disturbing them, you know, whatever, whatever. We don't know what happened to the um, to the lady. We don't know if she got charged, arrested or anything like that. But the story goes is the five-year-old was murdered in this room, the brothel room, by his mother. So what's actually happened? Griff's gone upstairs to the toilet and he's left me all down here on my own. Okay, we've got these lights. Let's turn them off. Here we go, we are in the dark. Whoa, ho, ho. this is menacing. This is real dark. Okay, you can hear some water dripping. Can't see anything. Hello? Is there anyone down here with me? Any spirits? Any ghosts? I do this all the time. Whoa. God, he just goes so much quieter in this section. Could you give me a sign? That you're here with me. This place must hold a lot of energy. Just absolute pure darkness. I mean, I'm looking in the night vision and right next to the door, you still can't see anything. It's just pure black. Come walking through the darkness towards me. Come and manifest as a figure. There's a ball of light. <laughs> or some kind of car. Could you come and scare me? I'm all alone in this entire section. And it's pretty amazing. Now, I am hearing clicking. It did sound like um, a little thud behind me. There's a lot of creaks, a lot of creaking. Just heard something then right in front of me. Sounded like a range of gum off the camera, it just goes blurry looking at the floor. Sounds like a water droplet. Can you see me, spirit? If you can see me. So a lot of noise. I'm not putting it down as paranormal. Definitely not. Could you knock for me twice, please? If you can see me. I'm the one with the red lights in his hand. Could you give me a sign? Could you knock twice? 
distinctively. I'm ignoring the taps. I want distinctive knocking noise. the brothel my first time I've never been to a brothel oh no neither have I ever well tonight's the night Jason a lot of blokes <laughs> going gay <laughs> gay yeah yeah <laughs> no respectful look at that flippy moustache we're in total darkness minus the LCD screens there's only so much we can do but we are in the dark. We could. Am I dead? Am I dead? It depends who you are. We believe so. We believe you might be dead. And I know it's not a nice thing to say. But to us, in our world, in our realm, we believe you are dead. We can't, we can't see you. We can't feel you. If the child is here, who got murdered many, many years ago, are you still here with us? Are you in this room with us? If so, can you give us a sign, please? So if the little child doesn't want to come forward, that's perfectly fine. But if there's any other spirits that reside in this room, Maybe even the mother. Or maybe one of her clients who hold many happy memories that happened inside this room. And you come back here. Could you come forward? Living room. Living room. Living room. Do you want us here? Do you want me and Griff inside your building? Inside your home? Be quiet. Yes, do. Be quiet. Okay. Third. Be quiet and then third. On mine it said be quiet and yours it said third. Okay, I'll be quiet then. If you want Griff to talk. I'll hand it over to him. Third. Third again. What does he mean by third? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I knew the answers to all of this, I wouldn't be doing it. So, it's kind of like, it's just a mystery and it's only a voice app thing anyway. So yeah. It's not nothing too important, but the, the filler helps us out a lot. Because you believe anything, don't you? There's a loud bang. That's someone. It's got to be someone. Imagine if you're there. Well, what shop's above us? I don't know, because he said there's people living as well. But they're like on the second or third That's floor. That's what I thought. Because right above us are shops that nobody are in. He said you won't hear anything up above you. Because all the tenants are right at the top. Does that sound like it comes from this direction? I mean, we can't rule out the fact that it could have been people all day. Well done. But it is relatively quiet in these sections. What if we've 
Just scared the shit out of someone. What, leaping? There are devices in this room that we're in. If you would like us to leave this room so you could play with the devices, then that would be fine. Be quiet. What? Shut the fuck up. All you ever say is be quiet. Yeah. You're going on all the way. Be quiet. No one wants to hear you. I don't know what we've got them on. I don't. They're not even real. So be quiet how many times? Third. <laughs> Fuck me. You said that more than three times as well. I think she has said be quiet about three times actually. Yeah. Imagine, I'm going to check. <laughs> That's all we can do. If, it, if it literally is, if that is the third time of them saying it. Then fair so, play. It is. It fucking is. <laughs> it really is. Look. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. And then how many times she said that? It's One, fine. two, three, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a, hold on. How many times has she said living room? Two. Twice. She said happy twice. Imagine if they're saying one more time. Go on. That'd be good. Back in the dark we go. How many times has she said fourth on mine, mate? She's been saying third on mine? Third on yours, yeah, that's what I mean. It's a different one. Oh, crap. So it's said it three times, but look. One, two, three, four, five times it said third on yours. Hold on. So it's been saying third on mine and yours? No, it said third on yours, not on mine. Oh, okay, mine. But then when we asked, is that the third time you said be quiet? And it's oh, the third okay, time. yeah, it makes sense. Nice. So how many times you said be quiet? And they said third. So we weren't actually getting too much in the brothel room. What we're going to do, we're going to actually sit kind of in this centre section. Can I tell you something before? So there's, there's numbers above these doors and there is a room with three on it and we did get the app saying third a lot Which one? There it is, that's number three Look Okay, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll chill in this section then So we're going to go into this room I believe or in this area should we get the chairs just so we can sit down? Yeah, that's what I was going to suggest as well. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, as Griff was saying, there is a number three. I'll give a chair. I'm going to. We're going to, we're going to actually hang out in this hallway. Basically the centre of the entire Victorian arcade. We have left the Mel Rem in the brothel room, so we will be able to hear that if a spirit wants to trigger. And we are just gonna hang out in this section and carry on doing the same. But so far, not a lot has really happened. So he kept saying third to us. And like I said, we are just mere mortals. Mortals, mere men to you. You could be like this super being, an alien, a god, clowning device, something, and you're just listening to us talk to ourselves, not acknowledging us, being rude. Now, we don't want you to be rude. We'd like you to be polite. Behind you. Well, that's where I'm pointing the camera, right near behind me. Love a good old behind you when you're standing by a gate with holes through it. Yeah. So, if you are behind us, it's thank you for telling us that you're behind us. But it'd be nice for you to just come out and we could see you. It'd be nice for you to say hello. Not on an app. Not on anything. Just come to us now where you see all these red lights and say, hello. I 
just be an arsehole. See if that happens. Oh, right, so. Listen up here, you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Griff from the Wager Brothers. And I'm going to evict every last one here. Especially the slag down the hall. <laughs> That's a bit much. That's what she is. No, but I mean, people, girls will watch this and will go. She, she worked in a woody brothel. Yeah, but the women. And then murdered, you know, a, uh, they murdered a child. Yeah, but even though she's done all of that bad stuff. She's a slag. No, no, no. People will find that she only did that because she was put in poverty and there's all the world power for women. Maybe the murder, that. though. But, well, that's wrong. Yeah, you know, all around murdering people, especially our own children. Um, so she's, it, she's earned that tag. <laughs> slag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. So we're gonna have to start getting violent. Maybe smashing or burning the place down. Don't. You stop us. It just said don't. You haven't got the power, the energy to stop us or anything. You can't even whisper. You can't touch us. You can't do nothing. You're like all the others, weak and pathetic. Like you're banging down the corridor. Like bang. You carry on. Think it's, think it's that's loud enough to get our attention while we're sitting in comfy seats. What it is, Jace, it's them running in fear. It must be. Because you want a bunch. Oh, just boarded us. Are you bored now? Just straight boarded us. Well, the feeling's mutual. You're probably one of the worst ghosts, spirits, we've ever come across. And we've come across some bad ones. You're the worst of the worst. And we're looking for the best of the worst. And that's you. So you keep doing your banging down the corridor. Talking on your stupid app. Still banging down the corridor. Come and charge towards us, you coward. Think about all the good evidence we've got when we've been, been violent. Oh, it's probably the only time we do get anything. Oh, you had two bangs. I did. You used to being banged. Just what I was about to say. Come here, show us what you've got. Not like that, though. That was loud. There is a lot of loud bangs coming from down there. Come on! Coward. It's all the way down the bottom. Let's point it down. Come this way. Even though we were hearing all those noises down the bottom of the corridor, I don't think it's anything paranormal because we was hearing those noises a lot during the night. It was pretty consistent. There's a lot of flats up above us, you know, hundreds of people living there. So you've got to take that into consideration. As for the story of that room being a brothel and the five year old being murdered, I actually decided to do my own bit of research to find if there's any evidence or facts about this and I couldn't find anything. I searched all online and there was no evidence that points to a five-year-old being murdered by his mother inside there. Now, I could be missing something, um, you know, because you've got to remember, you know, these places are really, really old. You've got hundreds and hundreds of years worth of history. But from my research, I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to put this story down as just a rumour. If anyone knows anything about it or if I've missed something, just let me know down in the comments because it'd be amazing if the story was real, well, not amazing if the story was real, but if there was some credibility and some true evidence to say that this actually happened. All right. So Stephen's gone upstairs. And I'm on my own in the underground. I'm gonna keep the lights on. Um, 
first first view is pleasure. I, I, I prefer the dark, but obviously. We're going to have a more crown. And it, it's really like creepy when you look at it with the lights on, like so you've got these steel grates with the lights on, stairs to go into nowhere again, where they used to go up to the old shops. Now I did kick off a little bit with the spirit. Because obviously we get wound up every now and again when we put all this effort in. Now I know that there is a Melrem just there. I don't know if you'll I'll point my camera to it. Um, put my torch to it. So it's just there in the doorway guys. Now it hasn't gone off all night. I've got a camera set up down this corridor. Which is on a chair right at the end just up here. There. But there's one place that we haven't been. And that one place has been the big room. And it's a big, big old room. If there is spirits listening to me, and you would like to talk to us at all, just bear in mind, I'm passing through. And if you want to see any of the rooms, then maybe you could knock. Now this is the big room, this is the base room. Anybody down here at all? Be nice to talk to you about how this place used to be. If you are in this room that I'm standing in now, my name's Jason Griff. If you'd like to say hello, say hello. A lot of clicking from electrics. Must be warming up. All it's going to take is you to say hello and I will be happy. What the hell is that? I heard like walking. Could you do that again for me please? You have plenty of toys. You have plenty of people that want to come and talk to you and speak to you. K2 meter right in front of me. Make it go to orange if you are here and you are you have been watching. I honestly, for the people at home, and for myself, I honestly believe that if there is something here, it'd be hiding. It's got so many places to hide. So many hidey spots. I would love to see this K2 and the Melrem go off. I do like those. 
I do like those. I like them a lot. So guys, we're going to wrap up. We have been here for quite a few hours. We are quite tired. Um, but it has been a blast to come down to visit the Victorian Arcade. Very cool setup. Um, again, something a bit different to be underground. Unfortunately, we didn't get too much. I know Griff said he caught, um, he heard, he heard walk, yeah. possible walking, but we can't rule out the fact, unfortunately, that he could have come up from up above. Yeah, because it goes, this actual section that we've been in all night, it goes underneath the shops, which, because if you, the layout is this whole run to the, um, to the stairs, to this point here is the gate. Yeah. And then it's the shops, mm -hmm. either side. Then down there is under the road, okay. so we can't rule out that it could be someone walking on the pavement. There's definitely no one in this section of the uh, arcade because it's locked off to public. But again, with that's just us judging unless we get floor plans. But that's what I'm presuming yeah. it is. But other than that, yeah, it's been fun. It's time to head on. Would we return? You know, possibly. Possibly in the future we'd give it another go. We'd pay Why not? Maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for us, not a great deal. Cheers for joining us and like if you didn't like the bit where we all got angry, you know. Well, we were just trying to just we do something. We were just trying to get something started. So we hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and peace.